children and um, this is your next RE lesson and today we're going to be talking about the Easter candle and we're going to have a go making one. Now another name for the Easter candle is the Paschal candle and if you went to church at Easter you may have seen one lit because it's lit on the Saturday evening before Easter and it represents the risen Christ so we're thinking about Jesus rising again from the dead um, so thinking back to that empty tomb when the ladies weren't there and the angel was there and the angel said Jesus is risen and so this is a celebration that Jesus has risen and this represents it to us today when we go to church it makes us think about how Jesus has risen so what you need to do to make one is you need to get an empty kitchen roll tube which is exactly the perfect length you then can either paint it white, leave it to dry, or you can get a piece of A4 paper and it will fit pretty much exactly if you just wrap it round, which is what I did for this one. And then I just used a bit of sellotape at the back, but I just literally wrapped it around. And then you've got a lovely white um, base for your candle because we think about God being very pure and Jesus being pure. So the white is a great colour. Then what we need is you need to draw um, the crucifix, you need to draw a cross. So here we go, if you do it on another piece of paper, I've coloured it in brown, um, then you need to cut it out. So here is the one I've cut out. You get some glue, I'm just going to quickly pop some glue on there. I haven't done the best job, but it will do to show you. And we glue it in the middle you need to be about here because we've got some other things to stick on. So that's the first part of making your candle. Then after that, there's two more things you need to draw. So again on my paper, I've drawn these two letters which are from the Greek alphabet. Now this looks like the letter A, but in the Greek alphabet, this is alpha and this letter is omega. And this means beginning and this one means end. And these ones, you cut out, you draw them, Cut out, you might need a grown-up to help you get those shapes right. And then you stick them above and underneath. So I'm going to show you how I do that. So again, I've made one here. This is my alpha from the Greek alphabet. So this is exciting. You're actually learning a little bit of the Greek alphabet as well in this lesson. And this one is the omega. So again, a bit of glue. And it's great if you've done it on white paper, it's really easy to cut out. I don't know if you can see because the white won't show, so I haven't had to cut out the centre. And um, I've stuck that on. It's easier to do it that way round than drawing straight onto it. So we've got that, so we've got the beginning and the end, we've got the cross. Now we also need five grains of incense which represent the wounds that Jesus had. Now they go, we're going to draw them as just you need a black or a brown, if you had to maybe an orange or yellow, um, felt tip would be best or a pencil and you're going to draw five circles but this is where they're going one at the top one at the bottom one on this side one on the other side and then one in the center so you should have five black circles or brown circles you might have colored in your cross orange or yellow your um, a different color so your black might show better than mine then after that, the candle, we need to have the date. So we just do the year. The year is um, 2020. So this is how we display it on this candle. We write the first two digits at the top, 2020, it's because it's 2020. So we write them like that. And then the last thing I did was I did the flame last. So I had some orange paper and I cut out a flame shape, but you could just get some white paper, colour it orange or yellow or red, a flame colour, and then stick it in the top. And again, I just use sellotape. You might, you could do it with a stapler or glue, but I just sellotaped a little, popped a little piece of sellotape in there. And there is my Easter candle, my um, Paschal candle that represents that Jesus has risen, the resurrection of Jesus. So that's what I'd like you to have a go doing today and see if you can remember having listened to this when it's lit what these two letters are in which alphabet and what do they mean 
um, and how many grains of incense would there be in this candle and um, I'll put a photograph of one uh, of a real candle because obviously this isn't a real one um, but I'll put a photograph of a real one for you to have a look at as well but anyway I hope you have fun making a Paschal candle this week okay bye